I'm Pamela Roberts. And I'm Ted Roberts, and we own Art of Greater Kentucky. Today our team is working on the restoration, the cleaning, and the revitalization of the Colored Gates of Louisville. One of the interesting elements of what Chamberlain did here was he took rolled and crushed automotive steel, chrome, anything you can think of from the auto industry and created this piece. The Chamberlain was in ground zero, basically, right below where the fire was. The fire did not harm the piece, fortunately. The piece of art this close to a, a fire doesn't usually fare as well as the Chamberlain did because he loved working in that automotive steel medium. It really was kind of a godsend in its own right to protect it. What it did do was lodge a lot of silt, burn insulation, a lot of contaminants in the piece, in the intricate areas of the piece. This piece is known for the twisted steel, and so all the debris were tucked inside and around nooks and crannies and grooves. Everything we do is a labor-intensive process. It's all by hand, if you will. We will use a low-flow air system and dislodge all of the obvious heavy contaminants that are just laying here and there and everywhere. Then we move into a hand cleaning where we have our proprietary treatments that we use where we actually hand clean each piece. We're able to tell now as we move across the pieces we've cleaned because there's a much more uh, brilliant shine coming off. The reflections of the chrome are different. It, it really does show a difference. It's a daunting task. It's a beautiful piece of art, but it's very large and the scale makes it very challenging to work with. But it's a great honor for us to be able to help our, our home, our town, our community uh, have this piece brought back to where it can be appreciated by everyone once again.